Right now, as we speak, there is a crisis on our southern border. There are more people there trying to find refuge in the United States than our government can handle. That is just a fact. And last night, a report from the Office of the Inspector General showed that in detail, this is not about how to fix that problem. This is just about saying there is a problem and it's a big humanitarian problem. I want to share the report with you. What's in it? Because I think it's important that we as Americans get a fair look at this issue before we as Americans spar politically over what to do about it. The cover page sums it up with its title, Management Alert. DHS needs to address dangerous overcrowding and prolonged detention of children and adults in the Rio Grande Valley. No accusations there, no political posturing. It just states a problem, calls on the Department of Homeland Security to address it. The report is from the Office of the Inspector General. That office is in the Department of Health and Human Services. That office's goal since 1976 is to improve the Department of Health and Human Services. That's some background about who wrote this report. Now, what's in it? Paragraph one, quote, for your action is our final management alert. The purpose of which is to notify you, the you is the Department of Homeland Security, of urgent issues that require immediate attention and action, end quote. What are those issues? Like the cover of the report says, dangerous overcrowding and prolonged detention. There are pictures the OIG attached to this report to support their claims. This is a picture of 88 men held in a cell that has a maximum capacity for 41 people. One of the men is holding a sign up to the glass saying help. Another photo is of 51 adult women in a cell that is supposed to be for underage males that has a capacity for 40. Several managers at these facilities told the inspectors they have safety concerns, both for the detainees and for the agents who work there. One official told the inspectors this entire situation is a ticking time bomb. The inspectors visited five Border Patrol facilities in the Rio Grande Valley of Texas. They found that 3,400 of the people being held are being held longer than 72 hours, which is the guideline. After 72 hours, ICE is supposed to provide housing, but ICE says it's strapped too. We're burning the candle at both ends to try to reduce that backlog while continuing to support our partners at the border and processing fairly all the migrants who are coming to the border. Not all of these migrants are adults. Hundreds of them, thousands are kids. The report tells us that children at three of the five border patrol centers had no access to showers. They had limited access to a change of clothes. Why is that? Border patrol has few items of spare clothing, that's what the report says, and no laundry facilities. Two of the facilities had not provided hot meals to kids until the week of the inspection. Even the Department of Homeland Security has said the situation on our border is an acute and worsening crisis, so there is agreement that this is a crisis. It's not not happening. And just to shrug it off and say, well, don't try and illegally cross, it just isn't addressing that crisis. We'll be right back.